everybody, and welcome to Houston Life. I'm Jennifer Broom. Hi, Jennifer Broom. Hi, Hi Derek Shore. Oh, it's such a good day. My mom's here again. Hey, uh, everybody, I'm Derek Shore. Welcome. <laughs> Does watching HGTV have you dreaming about buying your next home? Uh, every yes. single episode, yes. <laughs> One local couple's dream came true. They just got a perfect house for a very sweet deal, by the way, all the while filming it for television. And Houston Life reporter Dee Brown shares the story about their HGTV experience. Watch this. Buying a home is never an easy thing to do, whether it's making a decision on the right price tag or figuring out if it has everything that you want inside. But we're about to meet a local couple that got a little help from HGTV to make their home shopping experience a lot easier. This family of four was shopping for the perfect home, and it wasn't long before their realtor asked them about being on the show Lakefront Bargain Hunt on HGTV. You guys want to do it again and get some ice cream? Yes. Okay. We interviewed, and they liked us, and we were able to move forward with taping the show. Christy and her husband, Desmond, looked at several homes before deciding on this waterfront property in Missouri City. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, honestly, and to be able to do it with my family was very rewarding. Taping the show was a lengthy process, and they totally underestimated what shooting a TV show is all about. It was definitely something that I underestimated. I didn't know that uh, we would have to work so hard. Yeah, I didn't know the TV was that much work. I, I was thinking, you know, we would go on TV. It would be a breeze. Be a, be a, no, it's not. Once the cameras got rolling and followed them on their home shopping journey, they settled on this $300,000 home in Lakeshore Harbor. It stretches 3,700 square feet with four bedrooms and three and a half baths and even a man cave. So why this area? There's so many things that you can do outdoors over here. And so you'll see a lot of people fishing. You'll see a lot of people canoeing. You'll see a lot of people paddle boating. And we recently were able to purchase our own paddle boat. And if that isn't enough to sell you on this home, check out the view. Other things that sold them on this neighborhood, the clubhouse, an infinity pool, and a playground for the kiddos. They say a happy wife means a happy home. So, is Christy happy with their choice? Did she get what she wanted? It's exactly what I wanted. Oh my gosh. Christy and Desmond Garrett are joining us now. First question, can I move in? Sure. <laughs> oh. Holy cow, Thank congratulations. You. Thank you. So how did it start? How did you guys get picked to do the show? Well, um, our realtor, Kai Sampson, with Intero um, Real Estate, she was already connected to the show. And so um, we did have to go through the process of doing the interview mm -hmm. with the casting company and things of that nature. But once we did the interview, it was pretty quick. And did you know when you set out to find your new home that you wanted to live Lakeside? Absolutely. Well, we've been looking at the neighborhood for a while, so we knew it was on the water. And that was just a plus because the neighborhood has pretty much everything that we were looking for. That was just a major plus. And we, we fell for it and then she made the call. So I was my wife. And <laughs> so when you guys were looking at, at the different options that were featured on the show, tell me about it. I mean, was it a few days? Was it a week? How long did it take for the actual filming? Um, the filming process was about, about a week long. Mm -hmm. um, but you guys were doing were long, long, long days. hours, right? Like 14-hour days? Mm -hmm. Yes. And it was it's another job, actually. Uh, right. I felt sure like another was. job. Did you have to take a week off work to do it? Um, I actually did. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Did you get paid to do it? Yes. Uh, yes, we did. <laughs> Sorry, we have yes. She's like, I'm not doing anything for free. Yeah. Well, what about the kids? Because we didn't see in the, in the video here, but you, your parents have two little kids. Yes. So how did that all work? I mean, how did the kids react to the cameras? It was actually surprising that they didn't actually notice the cameras at all. It was actually. Oh, look at your cute family. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I love the striped sweaters. Thank <laughs> yes, you. She picked those out. Awesome. Of them. <laughs> I look like Wes Waldo on there, but. Um, so it sort of became your little new normal for a while. Is yes. it just normal yeah. to have these cameras following yes. you yes. around? Yes. Was it overwhelming, though, for you or for the kids? Um, it was overwhelming. It really was. Um, TV is a lot harder than what I thought. Yes. Um, yes. Especially being outside in the elements. It's very hot outside here in Texas. It is? And how many, how many retakes you have to do with things because yes. a rain went overhead? Yeah. Yes. Yes. People cutting the grass, planes going by, cars blowing, kids screaming. So, yeah. a lot of retakes. Not your kids though, right? No, no. Not ours, but I think it was divine intervention that really helped our kids to get through yeah. the whole taping process. They taped with us for two Somebody days. was looking down on us on that Okay, one. outfit yeah. changes, how many? Um, Nine? Yeah. Nine? Nine? Yeah. Nine. Wow. 
And Would you guys do it again if you had the chance? Absolutely. Oh, definitely, yeah. <laughs> so I'm assuming if someone asked you, you know, if you would recommend doing, because we hear about reality shows, yeah. And yeah. lives being destroyed, but you had a really good experience. <laughs> yes, yes, we did. We, did. Um, we would do it again because, for one, it's great memories for our family. Mm -hmm. um, this will be, you know, perfect for our kids to be able to tell their kids one day. Um, so you can't beat uh, a family experience on national television. Well, hey, maybe next time going from, you know, the huge lakeside mansion to a tiny house. Maybe so. <laughs> maybe so. Jasmine's like, well, no way. <laughs> people out there are wondering, by the way, so that your budget for the home was 375 yes. You ended up spending less than 300 Yes, Just under 300 299 yes. uh -huh. And, you know, for lakefront property, if you have a lake in your backyard, that's pretty good. Yes. So listen, we decided we wanted to play a little game okay. with you two. Newlywed game style. Okay. okay. It is sort of newlywed. So uh, I think I should take, and we don't have like a soundproof glass case here at Houston Life. It's a shock, I know. So why don't you guys go over and take advantage of the uh, anniversary sale yeah. at Nordstrom? In the women's <laughs> shoe department. Yes. Do you want to take a little field trip to the women's shoe department? Yes. Let's go. Come on. Give them a second to get out of earshot. Out of earshot. And I can't hear anything in my ear. So yeah, you can't hear anything at all. I always want to <laughs> There go. they go. Yeah. They're yeah. off to the ladies' shoe department, shoe department over in Nordstrom. Okay, Christy, are you ready? Yes. Okay, we're we got three questions. I'm going to go with the first one. What store did you visit the most to decorate? And if I could do the newlywed tune for you, I would, but. <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, that's one of our reporters' favorite stores. I'm not saying it because I'll give it away. Okay, we got answer one. Ready? Okay, now let's go on to question two. What was the most recent change made to the home? Oh, good addition to the house. Good addition. Okay. And we'll go on to our question three. Okay. What do you want to do with the house next? Um. <laughs> and they're over there on their uh, very quick shoe shopping expedition. Yes. I hope he finds something good. I hope he <laughs> finds you a new pair of shoes. Yes. <laughs> Okay, we've got all three of our answers. So you guys come on back. Desmond hey, and Derek, on come on back and join here. us. Now keep them so we can't see. So come on up here, Desmond. <laughs> yeah. Here they come. All right. I wonder how they did. Guys, hustle up. Come on. <laughs> Yo, we're hurrying. Come on. We don't oh, have all day. Let's go. <laughs> come on. Here we go. That's, hustle up. Live TV. <laughs> Anything can happen. <laughs> on our we're way back. just like sauntering away. Oh, look at my cute you know. mom here in the audience. So Any day now, guys. Any day now. Okay, we're here. Okay. We didn't right. hear a thing. We were so busy. No, we didn't. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, here's the first question. What store did Christy visit the most to decorate? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. Um, Z Gallery. Oh. I'm good. <laughs> well, you know, I, I probably remember Z Gallery because yeah. it cost the most. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we'll go to the next question. What was the most recent change made to the home? Should be oh, easy. Um, you put appliances. in a helicopter pad. Appliances. Appliances. Ding, 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 oh, ding, ding, ding. We got we go. one. Yeah. Okay, in question three, what does Christy want to do with the house next? <laughs> um, what big project? Oh, she wants to change the flower beds out. Well, yeah, but not the next you maybe. Say that? Uh -oh. Ah, the master talked bathroom. about it. He just it had a, be big enough. Yeah, I, I a little lapse that. in that's, memory, that's, that's all. Yeah. That's <laughs> Desmond, Christy, thank you so much. Congratulations you on the new home. What does he win, by the way? Um, a new home. Okay. A new home. <laughs> <laughs> we also got some tips from our Houston Life reporter, Dee Brown, on your man yeah. cave. Yeah, yes. it, was, it, was, it was good. She told me um, that I should add jerseys to my back wall, Texas jerseys, of course. Don't be giving away all the tips. We're going to have her I next know. on the oh. show. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you right after break with the tips from D on how to create the perfect man cave. Cool.